In other news here tonight, an investigation into a stolen trailer in St. Lawrence County may have police looking for it in Jefferson County tonight. The man who had the, tailor, the trailer swiped and he recounts how it all went down. Here's Zach Grady. Ronald Blair has parked his construction business vehicles and equipment at the old Fowler Elementary School for four years. Then came last Friday. When I came back from Watertown and got here approximately 7 o'clock, I happened to look over here and I see the trailer was gone. One of his construction trailers was missing, along with an attached toolbox and winch. This was the exact trailer without the toolbox and the winch. All told, Blair says it's worth more than $10,000 and filed a report with the St. Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. But that wasn't where his search stopped. The following morning, I spent a couple hours driving around the area trying to find it myself. Surveillance video showed the trailer on Route 812 going towards Baumat attached to a Jeep. It then went on to County Route 24. A friend of mine had sent me a text and said he seen him make the turn there because the trailer Jack had scrubbed into the ground. Blair says it was then on to California Road. The last breadcrumb for Blair, but not for police. He told me that they knew who it was. He told me that because he's supposed to be in Watertown, they had to turn it over to Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. St. Lawrence County Sheriff Brooks Big Wharf says there is an investigation and is working with other agencies, but would not tell us if there are any suspects. Zach Grady, 7 News.